हेलो एंड वेलकम टू खेल नाउ टी वी यू आर वॉचिंग इन साइड इंडियन एपिसोड नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स अपोलोजाइज फॉर लास्ट टू वीक्स वी हैव बिन नॉट डूइंग दिस शो वी आर गोइंग थ्रू अ ट्रांजिशन पीरियड एट ऑफिस दैट यू नो वी आर गेटिंग अनदर स्टूडियो इन प्लेस फॉर द सीजन नॉट जस्ट फॉर द फुटबॉल सीजन ऑफकोर्स देर इज आई एस एल देर इज फीफा वर्ल्ड कप टू फॉलो अप एंड देर इज अ प्रो कबड्डी लीग विच आर थ्री मेजर मार्केट टूर्नामेंट फॉर फॉर एज अ मीडिया हाउस फॉर खेल नाउट टू कवर सो वी आर यू नो preparing towards it so you know so we are shifting and we are doing something at our office we have we have built another studio so there was no inside indian football in last two weeks but i think uh, this week even i'm not prepared as such i think i think it's important important to continue this uh, this weekly show for indian football and i think it's important for everybody for indian football fans to listen to my views sometime because i think uh, you know uh, what happened during the fifa ban situation i was i was bit quiet and then people started reaching out to me personal messages and i thought then i think it's important that to raise the people concern and which we raise successfully and uh, during last few weeks i was in touch with few people and they they told me you know the video the live streaming for fifa ban which we did uh, which i did went to the right channels to the right people and made a good impact uh so uh, we will not skip the show from i'm just giving on the explanation we are working on the studio so we have built another studio you know another 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 office for ourselves so which is getting it, it's already ready we have shifted there and we have this studio we have another studio so you know we are going through some transition so this will need some time unable to prepare for the shows uh, because i don't want to come in this uh, weekly show without any uh important inside information for you guys to share and you know to my opinion on 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 several key topics but i think i think uh, hopefully now onwards it will be everything will live and, and i think some another major major takeaways from last couple of weeks in indian football and i think uh, biggest should be the uh, you know uh, biggest should be the you know uh, the indian women's team a very very bad performance in the saf women's championship and i think how bad it is uh there there are people you know again diverting towards other stuff i know um, the iff the old regime especially didn't have that much focus on this women's football in india but uh, there's a big but here the amount of investment done in women's football you can say it was not done properly it was on the top level we have hosted afc asian cup so indian senior team was getting ready even they just played one game in afc asian cup but they were they were they were they were getting preparation wise they played brazil one of the best team in the women's football uh, for the preparation of the afc asian cup you know and uh, to get to the saf south asian championship where they never never lost the game uh, even they didn't conceded much goals in the in the history of the saf women's championship to go there and to lose uh, not just one the two games uh, against bangladesh and nepal uh, and i think uh, uh, the questions can be asked about the setup of the indian football or the indian women's uh, people also need to compare the setup of the indian women's football to the nepal or the bangladesh uh, what do they have in the country of course bangladesh have done well in the scouting and the development of the one batch of the women's football but i think that's still not enough to beat a country like india uh, if you give me the compare even women's fifa ranking are sometime are um, very uh, mistakenly taken you know in terms of the ranking uh, i think there's a gang in india who feels that indian women's is closer to the world cup than the men's i think it's another myth i will say uh, indian women still as far from the world cup as far as the men's team uh, because women's uh, women's football qualification works differently the number of slots from asia is is different to men's football so but you know point is questions need to be asked not just to the setup of the women's football but to the coach uh, who is the coach was he qualified enough to be the coach of indian heads women's team that's one what about the players players also need to take some kind of responsibility and criticism i am not just saying the indian indian women's football setup is perfect but let's compare the setup to the nepal for example you know or to the bangladesh it's still far better um, they don't even have a proper leagues in their country you know uh, now women's even somehow it's not proper league i'm fan of indian women's league but still there's a league in india the amount of money is invested to prepare the senior team in last couple of year for the asian cup is huge so it's it's not like that you know that uh, that, that there is no investment in indian football indian women's football there is investment and another thing i want to say people might say the investment in indian women's football in this last two years are greater than the previous uh, 10 years you know year wise budget wise if you see and then this women's team has gone to the saf championship won comfortably scored double digit goals against multi, multiple times now to to 
to went into the SAF championship and lose against Bangladesh and lose against Nepal, not reach to these finals. I think it's a big, big question mark. Uh, not just for the AIFF, the coach and the players also need to take some kind of responsibility into it. Not just just pass the blame towards that. You know, we don't have any structure in Indian for, for women's football. I think it's true in a way, but it's a false in a way that we don't. We we still have better setup than the Bangladesh and uh, and Nepal. We don't need to be have a you know world class setup to beat these nations. And this is nothing to discredit to Nepal and the Bangladesh team. They have been working towards building their teams. But India as a country and as an Indian football fa fans, you know, uh, we need to ask questions not just to AFF. Again, I'm going to say, and I've said the last time FIFA ban also. We need to see the complete picture. In this case, we need to also see the complete picture, not just pass the blame to the system, blame or responsibility should be taken by the head coach uh, was the head coach qualified enough in terms of his cv to be the head coach of the women's football that's one are the indian women's uh, women's player not responsible for the result i don't think so and they are also the as equal responsible for the result as the head coach or the aff system or anything else so i think, I think that's need to be post-mortem i think hopefully the aff new regime think about it and you know uh, and I will come to your questions and because I think it's important setup because I still feel there are some people in India who divert uh, these kind of topics or these kind of uh, stuff towards one way uh, to get their agenda on top. You know, I think, I think and as an Indian football fans, I have been requesting everybody, let's see the complete picture. You know, let's just not blame one, one, one way or one person or one organization for, for some bad things. If, say, India has lost against Bangladesh and Nepal, this is the first time they've lost a game in the SAF Championship, you know, SAF Women Championship. So, what we can do and how, how was that possible? It's not that Bangladesh and Nepal has spent 10 the times of money have India spent in women's football in the last one year. That's false. India has spent more money. India have uh, played more international games. India have been preparing for, uh, you know, AFC Shankar Cup, their country. So, we have, you know, kind of done uh, so many things in women's football. It's, it's still not enough but to compare with these countries like Bangladesh and Nepal our budget for women's football is way way more than what people think so it's not just the AFF or system fault for this result questions need to be asked to the women's players are these some of the players need to permanently move have the uh, we have find the Bala Devi replacement why the Manisha Kalyan was not called uh, because as of as per now she's playing the highest standards so you know highest level and she has done very well in the recent women's leagues so I think these kind of questions people need to ask, just not, again, not, 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 not fall for the agendas which people are trying to throw, you know, uh, uh, that is the system fault, Bangladesh have been doing lots of work in grassroots, they are, yes, they are doing, but they are still not doing the same kind of work which India has done and I am, I'm not a fan of spending money at the top level, say senior level, hosting tournaments or all, I'm all fan of doing the grassroots work, but, but again, the amount of money, time and everything, the effort has been put in women's football in the last couple of years in Indian football. It should be, should be enough to beat Bangladesh and Nepal. I am not expecting them to qualify for Asia Cup. I am not expecting them to uh, qualify for Olympics or qualify for the World Cup. But I think it's a shameful that we have lost the SAF Women's Championship matches. Two games, not one. Uh, you know, this was one tournament where our girls used to dominate these games, you know, with ease. Uh, I, I think, I think I have, if you remember a couple of years back, uh, four or five years back, uh, there was only a question that how many goals Bala Devi will score? Will they score? Will she score double hat trick? You know, will India score double digit goals? These were the questions when the SAF Women Championship used to take place. What has happened now, you know, when we are struggling to beat Nepal and Bangladesh? That's a big question. Uh, you know, uh, uh, and uh, I, I think, but one thing I'm very happy for Bangladesh football fans, the kind of reception uh, Bangladesh women's team has received, Indian women's team never received, Indian men's team never received in the last 10, 15 years. It's fantastic to show that, you know, uh, uh, that the football is still alive in South Asia. And that's, that's the main thumbnail uh, topic of this video, that are the South Asian teams again started closing gap against India, not just women's football, in the, all the level, under 17 SAF Championship, under 19 SAF Championship, India has won both. Uh, both these have championship but i think still feel you know, they, they have played well uh, all the countries in the, these tournaments and i think uh, maybe maybe and i'm a fan of I, i'm an advocate of the word that india should leave saf and go to asia and go to somewhere i think, I think it's time we we should we should we should uh, make up um, uh, make yeah we should be aware that india can't leave saf due to political reason let's let's make this app uh, you know uh, a, a strong uh, subcontinent can we invite say a couple of teams from Southeast Asia for every SAF championship under 17 and 19 women's men's you know let's let's throw the friendly invite to some like Thailand Vietnam Malaysia 
you know invite them to south south asian championship and and we'll discuss the south asian championship you know i am going to host another podcast episode for south asian football podcast uh, with the guest from nepal bangladesh pakistan and hopefully other countries also uh, you know and uh, and i think thinking and respect to the nepalese fans uh, for the kind of support for the women's football again because i am saying again if we host this saf championship in india the kind of crowd which nepal has got for uh, for the for their own games in the saf women's championship is fantastic we will not get it anywhere in india right now and uh, bangladesh kind of support they have shown to the women's women's team it's fantastic and, and that's what i'm saying south asian teams are trying to close this gap uh, you know with india the kind of investment india has done they are trying to fight india with with a limited budget so india need to very careful and i think uh, both the under 19 under 17 saf has a mixed kind of performance i still feel that india need to add more talent in their under 17 under 19 team before the qualifiers let's see if they will able to add more players uh, into you know and i think uh, hopefully that will change uh, before going to saf championship let let me take couple of questions straight away uh, regarding this topic and then we we'll move next rancho rashan says bangladesh versus cambodia friendly match running now half time score bangladesh 1 and uh, cambodia 0 uh that's great we are not growing in saf we should move out from saf better teams we play better become these countries are matching us not our game speed see you can't leave saf uh, not just for the sporting purpose you can't leave saf for the uh, political purpose uh, and, and and we can discuss this somewhere when i have discussed in past india if leave saf that will send a wrong political message in the region and maybe because it's india china kind of rivalry you can see political sense china has been taking over lots of political uh, the important ports in sri lanka or maldives or pakistan so india as a you know this is our subcon so india as a part of this subcontinent we 100 years ago we were all all together so if india leaves saf that will send a wrong political message you know and that's why we can't leave we even if saf yeah, want indian government will never allow india to leave saf you know there's a reason south asian games still take place in all other sports not just in football so i think that's another reason and i only thing is maybe we can go to the other to other other continental subcontinent tournament like asian cup to play or in central asia we already have the uh, you know mu with them so let's see i think what happened here did the girls playing in europe participate did they cup manisha didn't played one was injured one one came hi she's welcome back your thoughts on indian errors won't be playing i'm very happy kalash singh best i think i think uh, time for aff to very clean uh, with the new management coming up there was a big big question mark over the setup of indian euros not just from the uh, insiders openly isl club owners some of them has, has you know kind of uh, um, pointed out that you know what what is wrong with indian euros setup i think aff role is to run the football in india they should leave clubs to develop these indian indian footballers they should have their own best academies still i feel india still not done enough in the domestic setup to not close all the aff academies but i think they should leave clubs to develop these peers i league clubs i league second division clubs isl clubs give these peers freedom to play for these clubs you know and be clean the, there was a no there's no proper system for indian arrows players to transfer to isl teams where was the transfer fees going what was the third party involvement there you know because i think these things still need to come out uh, what happened with indian arrows transfer fee where was that money was spent the amount of transfer fee which aff have received for the uh, indian arrows players where was the money gone have aff have received those money directly in their account or that money has been routed through a third parties so this needs still need to come out hopefully uh, the supreme court uh, doing that uh, audit of the aff accounts and the uh, financial audit should give them clear picture where this money has gone and i think that's the reason it will be closed by the new new regime straight away because they they have found some kind of fault in it and i think uh, they have given the AF, afc uh, uh, afc licensing criteria as a reason i think that's is not the reason to close down this this project uh, what is the opinion of the yeah, i think i'm very happy t- um, the mizoram uh, the mizo timar have been appointed as a uh, chairman of the uh, chairman of the leagues and i think that's a good appointment and this shows the knowledge and people might say i'm praising uh, somebody but saji prabhakar knows mizoram football very well he is the one who brought those fifa tough to mizoram back when he was in charge of south asian for fifa and he has worked with mizoram fan past so i think he used that experience to know that this man has transformed mizoram football in terms of the league structure india not leave isl and i league these are the national level leagues india needs state leagues if we can get at least at least 15 of our states to have three or four month state league it is going to transform our, our, our football in india isl i league will not make that much of impact at the grassroots level if we can 50 15 nations and and i can i can count those 15 50 sorry 15 states to have at least three to four months league 
I think it will transform Indian football into grassroots level. Not ISL, not I League, having a, these state leagues. No foreigner should be allowed in the state league. That should be cleared. No foreigner should be allowed in second division. That should be cleared. And if we can do that, and then get these state leagues to also start their uh, uh, age group leagues, and then get the I League age group leagues for these these clubs to play into and make a pan India engagement for all these countries. I think it's important. AFF should not be asked what is happening in ISL. ISL organized by FSDL. Let's ask this question to FSDL. What they are, uh, how they are improving ISL and everything. AFF is the in charge of I League. Ask those questions for I League. AFF should be forcing all the state uh, FAs to have a proper proper state leagues. See, just imagine a, a state like West Bengal, Kerala, Goa, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Mizoram, Meghalaya. Sikkim, Arachal Pradesh, Manipur, you know, uh, state like Urissa, state like uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh, state like, you know, uh, uh, there are more state, you know, Delhi, Punjab, you know, uh, these states, if we can 15, 15 states, you know, where right now the talent is coming from Indian football, you know, they are still peers from UP, Uttarakhand, by the way, and I'm from Uttarakhand, I'm not saying Uttarakhand, they have to spot the hotspot of the talent. You know, go through data, how many ISL I-League players have come from all across the India and find out these hotspots and get these all states start their uh, state league. It should be compulsory for those state to receive funding from AFM to have at least, at least minimum of three months to four months state league from this year onwards. You know, uh, West Bengal, uh, there is good, good CFL by the way, but can the CFL, Kolkata Football League can be made in a way that it is, it is complete cover the complete West Bengal there should be some activities in North Bengal I know the lower division of CFL has been played but the, the, the kind of structure it's very bad you know can what Mizoram has done at the state level can state like say Meghalaya Manipur you know, Aranchal Pradesh Kerala Kerala have started doing their well in the state league Goa have a good state league in past but it's going down again Karnataka Maharashtra you know spot these 15 states start with 15 states get the state league running and I think, I think that should be major aim for Timar to do it and I think I think it's important uh, 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 appointment and you have, you have a flurry of opening job post now um, by the way so they are important important post uh, if anybody feels they should apply but don't to help Indian football and I think I think I have seen uh, some people who were again support of the FIFA ban they are now you know uh, they are, they are, when the decisions or the activities the IFF reduced they have asking questions again and again you know it's a minimum requirement hai, but at least they're doing basics right uh, you are if they're doing basic rights you are still asking them you know uh, uh, it's still basic it's not a big achievement it's not an achievement it's a basic should be right but should be you know at least they have taken one step further from the old regime the telecast of the uh, Indian friendlies have been announced in advance because in past we were not even aware of the uh, till the one day before match that where the match will be shown it's great that we are not we're not we're not debating and we're not uh, trending any hashtag on Twitter to get the telecast rights. I know it's a basic basic steps, but these basics were not done before. Uh, were done in past, and there were reason given for these basics not not to be done right. So I think, I think it's important. Uh, let's give uh, AFF regime some time what they're trying to do. Let's uh, ask them the right question. And I think it's a great. I've seen Mr. Kalyan Chauhan, Sajid Rakan has been going all, all around India. They have met uh, somebody like you know uh, Naveen Patnaik, who has been who has been one of the best CMs. Uh, in terms of supporting Indian sports, not just Indian football, they, but the, the support Odisha government has given to Indian hockey, uh, Odisha FC has been fantastic. And that now go meeting these people, you know, uh, all across India, see what can they do, what kind of support they can generate from the uh, all these all the all these government. That's a great. And I think let's let's keep on asking these uh, the new AFF regime of questions. Let's ask where is the new AFF constitution? You know, when we can see that. But if they're doing something right, I think it should not be, uh, should not be, uh, people should not take a negative jibe on them, saying that it's a, it's a basic. Of course, the basic, but the basic was not done right in past. Uh, let's move ahead. Why Baladev is out of uh, so long when she, she has a new injury? That's why she has been out. Uh, uh, let me take, do the girls, that's I've taken. Uh, uh, that's question, do, do that's I've already taken. Still 3-0 against Bangla team, the same team which are under 17 lost 1-0, pretty bad result. Uh, background look good, seems like your business is running well. Uh, 
बिजनेस तो नहीं है यार इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स फुटबॉल में ज्यादा बट यार स्टिल ट्राइंग टू मेक आर इंपैक्ट विल संदेश जिंगन सना लूज फ्रेंडली अगेंस्ट सिंगापुर ड्यूटी वीजा डिले और दे हैव बीन अराइविंग विद आई थिंक दे दे वर सपोज्ड टू ट्रैवल टुडे आई हैव टू चेक दैट हैव दे रीच और नॉट हाउ मेनी डेज आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक पिचेस रेडी फॉर आईएसएल आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टेडियम द पिचेस हैव बीन मेंटेन वेल बट आई थिंक कंसीडरिंग आईएसएल स्टार्टिंग ऑन 7th ऑफ अक्टूबर देयर इज मिनिमम 1 मंथ रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एनी पिच टू बी स्पेशली द नेचुरल ग्रास टू बी गेट रेडी सो लेट्स सी डिडंट चाइनीज टाइप पे क्वालीफाई फॉर वर्ल्ड कप वी बीट देम यूजुअली यस नॉट सम बट चाइनीज टेपेस वी डोंट बीट देम रेगुलरली ऐसा नहीं है वी हैव यूज्ड टू बीट देम इन पास्ट दे हैव अगेन फ्रॉग जंप अस अहेड इन द ब्लू डेवलपमेंट व्हाई इंडिया ड्रॉपिंग इन एरो प्रोजेक्ट इंडिया इज ड्रॉपिंग इन एरो प्रोजेक्ट पर दे हैव द क्वेश्चन मार्क ओवर द काइंड ऑफ सेटअप इज हैव बीन स्पेशली द प्लेयर्स अंडर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट देन प्लेयर्स शोल्ड टू द आईएसएल टीम व्हाट हैपेंड टू द ट्रांसफर फी यू नो देयर वाज सम कंप्लेंट फ्रॉम द प्लेयर्स व्हेयर दे हैव बीन काइंड ऑफ मेड कैप्टिव विद द इंडियन एरो प्रोजेक्ट दे वांट टू गो एंड प्ले फॉर आईएसएल टीम इन अराउंड सो लेट्स सी आई थिंक इंडियन वुमेन्स टीम कोच शुड बी चेंज आई थिंक इट्स डेफिनेटली रांचो भाई बिल्कुल टोटली एग्री हाउ डू रेट आई विल कम टू द इंडिया स्क्वाड फॉर द वियतनाम गेम uh you know uh, we'll come to this squad uh, yes uh, now let's let's come to the durand cup also i think uh I, just let me see if any uh, should india appoint foreign scout for age group i think it's not a big thing to do age group scouting we don't need foreign scout for that i think we are ex players should be able to do that uh, and congratulations to west bengal governor for winning the durand cup I see I'm I'm I know that's what what happened is very bad and the and I think I'm surprised that uh, Duran Cup ceremony has been not done by the army's uh, senior rank uh, officers which was in past this might be some pact between West Bengal government and the Duran Cup committee I think it's bad Duran Cup has a own legacy let's not destroy that let's not involve the politician into it it's a Indian army tournament let's Indian army handle it you know that's one thing what happened Sachin Sunil Chetri is bad but again another incident a negative in football uh we you know how we treat our legend and of course that will that will of course going to uh going to spread like a wild fire wild fire and of course the eyeballs on the negative for is always on high only uh, let me take more questions uh yeah let, let's let's move ahead uh let's talk about duran cup i think i think uh, better tournament from the last year uh, i still feel Uh, now the teams will start feeling confident to play next year if they can they can still make it you know um, uh, i still feel uh, if they can bring it back to delhi i'm not saying that i have any problem with Kol- kolkata has been uh, mecca of indian football but i think tournament like duran cup super cup should be played in the state where there is no top level football is available you know uh, to give an example maybe pune is a good good uh, uh, ground to test at pune that can will crowd will come back at balewadi stadium where the 3 uh, to 4 used indian club used to be there ahmedabad delhi can be used as a, another reference you know uh, for duran cup for super cup super cup is going to take place this year you know uh, some like sikkim uh, the home state of our superstar and legend bajing bhutia there is no top level club is there you know meghalaya again uh, there is no top level club so use these tournament to opportunity to test ground with these state you know and how, what what is the football interest in these state again you know again i will say kerala is so big can we take malappuram you know another where you know we remember 2014 federation cup used to take place so i think that will be the stuff i will hope these tournaments go to there uh, goes to these kind of places where there is no top level football going on so i think duran cup is a bit better compared to last year new talent coming up that's the major aim of the durand cup and i think congratulations to bangalore fc congratulations to sunil chetri for completing the complete set of trophies in indian football and i think i think he's a indian football legend uh, uh, and of course we have not seen the pk pk banerjees and you know the greats of indian football uh, for our generation of people who have not seen them and they of course pk banerjees whatever i read whatever i listen from so like nobi kapadia ji Uh, he has been fantastic all time best player but for us sunil chetri will always will always be the special player and i think he has kept this indian football alive for years in this its era of indian football when other sports have been kind of trying to frog jump indian football and i think very happy for sunil chetri kind of playing into that new role with shiva shakti roy krishna and i think looking forward bangalore fc look solid going into this isl season uh, and i think and saf under 17 vivano fernandez have a shaky start to the tournament Uh, but they recovered well and then done i think that i was not hoping and again i'm not as i said in under 19 saf i'm not going to judge them based on the saf saf cup uh, championship results even they lose of course we will be critical of that but the major aim is to qualify for the afc under 17 asia cup afc under 19 asia cup that should be the aim now i think for coach bibiano coach uh, under 19 coach 
and the AFF, can they add talents in this team? If they're lacking in some department, can you bring these I-League players, especially under-19 teams, some like Gema from uh, Rajasthan United should be part of the under-19 team. So can they be changed or it is too late to be changed because there's an initial deadlines to be registered these players for these qualifiers. So hopefully, not this maybe this time around but next going around we will have best best Indian team playing I am not a fan of this AFF policy of under 19 football especially uh, carrying forward just Indian players who played for under 16 level you know not add or for Indian aero setup not adding I league or ISL under 19 players uh, another important topic is a roadmap rumor and this rumor also kind of like a spread like a, a wildfire and spread lead by people by giving wrong information that no road roadmap is going to follow. There is no uh, I League clubs have been no I League club were used very badly in that uh, that you know have a written information nahi mili because I League club was part of that photo which AFC has put on their website when the roadmap was agreed. If they were not happy with the roadmap, they should have not be part of those photos. You know that's one. Happy that AIFF has come out on record and said there is no discussion has been taken place to not to follow roadmap. They have already told the roadmap has been agreed with FIFA and AFC and it will be followed. So as per today, this year I-League champion will go into ISL. Uh, so I think it looks like uh, Mohammedan Sporting, Gokulam Kerala or Round Glass Punjab or Rajasthan United. Can they rise United throw a surprise here? So I think we will see the I-League uh, I -League, I -League champion in the, in the ISL next year. And uh, another important thing is... Um, if I remember correctly, this is 22-23 season. Last se next season will be the last season with the Star Sports 10-year uh, deal with ISL. So there will be new broadcasting deal with the Star Sports, or will the Sports 18 take over the ISL uh, broadcasting rights digitally or satellite TV after next season? So Star will be there till the next season. I think. I think another reason you can see that Pro Kabaddi League and ISR are colliding with each other now. Both the leagues starting on the same day. So maybe Star is shifting their focus toward Pro Kabaddi League. I know, I'm, I'm not sure of it, but uh, let's see how they manage the bouquet of the channel now. They will have ISL at the same time, Pro Kabaddi League at the same time. Both the leagues were done in the different languages, different channels. How many slots ISL will get? Important question now, you know, uh, with the T20 World Cup, with the lots of cricket also taking place, how many slots ISL will get? You know, uh, that's interesting to see. And I think how, because uh, ISL is moving towards Football League. And it's great that, you know, uh, we have finally uh, uh, moved towards the Weekend League. But another thing with the PKL Pro Kabaddi League schedule, there are triple headers in the uh, Pro Kabaddi League now. So Pro Kabaddi League will start at 7.30, will finish at 10.30, three hours, you know, kind of a stuff for Pro Kabaddi League. So, ISL will be competing with Pro Kabaddi League directly on there. So, I think um, that's one. So, hopefully, let's see. Uh, SAR will have another year of ISL for sure. But will they continue broadcasting it after next season is another question. And, and after the next season also, the relegation will also come back uh, from 24, 25. So, that's going to be interesting to see. I could see that IFF new board showing support towards ISL. I also like the idea of having only players in lower division. Uh, and I think a fan, I think I League team, see, I understand uh, that Super Cup and uh, Duan Cup when I League ISL team plays, they want foreigners to be with part of I League team. Uh, I understand, but second division league, state leagues, no foreigners should be allowed. I definitely believe of that. I League, I only reason I might be question mark because I League still goes to the uh, AFC Cup, you know. So I want them to have four foreigners on on pitch at least. I think will they want to allow them six or five in a squad? That's the towards the AFF and that's the debate point right now. But I think until unless I League clubs are going to the AFC Cup, they should be allowed same rules as ISL clubs, you know. And that's one thing. Uh, Durant Cup, Super Cup. If if there is a slot given to the any of these tournament going ahead, I League clubs will want foreigners in their squad, so they can't remove foreigners from I League I League as of now. Uh, Kalyan said, ISL team relegate, they will lose interest and which is the fact Indian football is not a state to lose interest, investment, we need to protect this investment, otherwise old I League days. Kind of agree and I think, uh, uh, but that's the thing, you know, uh, if, uh, maybe, maybe I'm not sure how can, how can this be done properly. Uh, one way to do it, give them another chance to stay in, uh, say, in ISL and uh, um, people might think that this idea is a bit controversial, what about what about I League ISL team getting relegated, playing home and away playoff against I League champions team? Whoever wins goes to the ISL 
either i league team goes to the isl or i uh, isl team stays in isl that's a one way to do it but it will be not fair on the i league team to do it and uh, people will want relegation but that relegation only only feasible if i league is there up to standard not 100% to the isl but at least 60 70% to the isl then only it makes sense to relegation to be implemented i think uh, instead of removing foreigners from i league reduce i think uh, you can't reduce it to do two or three reason they still playing in afc afc are allowed for foreigners so they they will not sign foreigners for few months or few foreigners for the afc cup and then play two only in i league i think it will be should be follow the afc norms whatever afc is allowing that's one uh uh expectation for under 17 and under 20 qualifiers according to the groups i think i'm hoping that india under 17 team goes to the uh, afc asian cup because we have done in ra- last two edition uh bivano fernandez has known be known to you know uh, qualify uh to the afc asian cup you know on regular basis in last he's only indian coach i think he was taken back to back uh you know uh, back to back indian teams in the, to the direct championship so i think i think i'm hoping that you know uh, bivano's team goes to it uh, the reason being because uh Uh, even if the draw let me let me you know just just open the draw for me also so india is in saudi myanmar maldives kuwait saudi is home i think indian i'm hoping that indian under 16 goals goes through i'm really hoping and hopefully the all the groups have five teams hopefully that means uh, because india their second okay so the result against fifth place team will not count because somehow uh um, the group e has only four teams group f have only a four teams uh which is which is again this is main issue with afc i always have why i have five teams in sub group and four teams in sub group and then make a uh, second place ranking and you know we doing permutation combination you don't itna to hum engineering mein nahi karte jitna main afc ke find out karna padta ki hamari hamari country qualify karenge ki par considering i think saudi is only competition for indian team kuwait maybe maybe not Uh, I think Indian Indian under 16 team should be should be beating uh, Maldives. We should be beating uh, Myanmar. We should be beating. I think it's between Kuwait and India for the second place. Uh, if we can get a draw against uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, I think it uh, they are host nation by the way. That will open India chance on the goal difference for the number one ranking team. But I think we should be reaching uh, you know. And again, the all important game will be against uh, you know if India goes through. All important games are Myanmar and Kuwait. If India wants to go through second ranked nation team, so that's that's for the. Um, I, I think I think and hopefully under seventeen teams go through. Uh, I'm really hopeful because I'm a big fan of uh, you know Bibiano uh, Fernandez uh, the co- as a coach. I, I still feel that he is the he's the best Indian coach right now uh, and should be. I have been saying it again and again. Should be should be should be promoted with the batch 2019 2023 and you know the way has world has been doing it in recent time. Uh, and talking about under 19 team, the qualifiers were you know kind of postponed for India. Now it's finally has been decided that India it will take place in uh, Kuwait. That is a tough group. I am not hoping much from here, honestly. Iraq, Australia, <laughs> India, Kuwait. Not hoping much. Uh, but if India somehow can get to the second place, I think it's a really good achievement. Under 19, India has always struggled, uh, you know, uh, in, in 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 recent years and previous, you know, in last 10 years. So under 16, I'm hopeful. Under 19, I'm not much hopeful, but hopeful they will compete enough in these in these games. Uh, what is different? <coughs> football club and franchisee, if they relegate and they shut down. this is not football club this is called franchise this is difference between the football club and franchise i think it's not about uh, shutting down you know uh, people p- people were saying that you know uh, say and i'm i think this is people say that they have spent but this is this was true for the i league clubs 2014 when they got relegated to second second tier so i'm i'm not I'm, i don't want to uh, remove the relegation i am still fan of a relegation if they want to give me one extra chance maybe but that will be not fair on the i league team you know uh, If I League team get promote, play a playoff home and away between the relegated ISL team and the I League champions team. If I think that can be done, but will not be fair on the I League team. I am still fan of the relegation and it should should be there. You know, do I League clubs have the pocket to lose 20 crores? Kalyan said we have to discuss pros and cons of promotion and relegation. Believe me, India cannot lose investment at this stage; otherwise, fail. <coughs> I think. इसका ये मतलब नहीं है इफ आई लीग क्लब डजेंट है 20 crores to lose. That doesn't mean that you cannot make a good ISL team in say 10 crores. you know if say for example mumbai or atk mohan bagan are spending 25 crores in their uh, squad and first team operations that doesn't mean you cannot make a good squad in 10 crores uh, you know uh, uh, not all the premier league teams the premier league not all the other leagues bundesliga team for example union berlin 
uh, this is number one in the Bundesliga right now. They, their spending is nowhere close to the uh, 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 Red Bull Leipzig or Bayern or Dortmund in the Bundesliga. So that doesn't mean that Union Berlin was not allowed to get promoted from the second tier Bundesliga uh, to, the, to the top Bundesliga. So as I said, if you're smart, you can make a good good ISL team in a limited budget also. And we will we want <coughs> the stories of Leicester City, you know, stories of uh, as well FC winning I League. Uh, you know, uh, you know, club, club from Kashmir winning ISL in some days. So that, as I said, जरूरी uh, नहीं है कि आप extra spend कर कर के आप uh, ISL जीत सकते हैं। uh, अगर ऐसा होता तो ATK Mohan Bagan AFC Cup का final या जीत रहा होता। You know, they have spent a good amount of money. Or ATK Mohan Bagan have been winning every ISL. Uh, Jamshedpur FC, Hyderabad FC would have not won the trophy last year. Their spending is nowhere close to the ATK Mohan Bagan and Mumbai City FC. So that's my point. Uh, spending doesn't mean that you need to spend just without thinking so uh, you will need these kind of stories in isl also going ahead you know the promotion should 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 be there as per the roadmap being agreed between afc fifa i league and isl clubs these things have been discussed there should be no way this roadmap should be changed here in chennai city isn't passing to me i like duty in mini second division thoughts why can't such successful club respect the roadmap climb to the first season chennai city is not playing in they have multiple reasons they are not playing in i league they cannot just now play in I-League, first of all that. As they have already opted out, they have to play second division. Then they have to come to the I-League again. Either way, from through the direct entry or from second. That's one. And then if they want to play ISL, qualify from the I-League. Show the world that you are deserving team to qualify from the I-League to ISL now. Because there's opportunity to be playing the I-League. But sports team have a, uh, a Series A, League 1. They don't uh, telecast Durant Cup on weekend and show European football. I think they were these new channels. I think they will they will start getting new more channels you know going ahead because they are kind of aggressive in the sport market now they will have multiple channels very soon. Uh, Apuya team me kyun nahi hai? I think begins Apuya's availability was not given to the Indian national team. They was told that he will be he is in Belgium for the training. Eventually came back on time, but I think once because there's a visa process and everything you need to follow. You can't take visa just like he came from Belgium to play in Durand Cup. You can enter your own, own country. You can't reach other country on time. So visa and everything was too late for to file. You know, and eventually he was not considered to be selected for uh, this team. That's one. Uh, why I league reduce foreigners in the upcoming years? Then how will they compete with ISL? I, I, I will not a fan of until and unless I league teams going into the FC Cup, they should be allowed to use four foreigners just like just like AFC allowing. They should be allowed the same number of foreigners. Uh, yes, Vietnam and Singapore will play the first team squad. Abhina Bhai Kelenge. I would like to see new faces, special and replacing the current 19 one which won the SAP Championship, not fully replacing. That's what I said, uh, uh, Rajdin, uh, that you know, uh, identify the weak, weak spots in the uh, your uh, youth, youth teams and get the players from I League and ISL youth teams if you feel they can improve your team, you know, that's how the, uh, which can be done. Uh, will Apuya move to Belgium as some rumors come? Coaches. Uh, Shuvil, don't believe on these rumours. These rumours uh, made Akash Mishra sign for JD clubs. There are steps. Even if they impre impressed with Apuya, they are not going to sign this window. No chance. Mumbai City wants to retain Apuya. Maybe next season he will go again. You know, these decisions are not taken on the one-week trials. You know, for the Indian players, there <coughs> there will be some kind of discussion going on. Apuya will stay in Mumbai City for this season at least. Uh, uh, BK Oram and uh, Damit Lindo from BFC can improve AFC under 20 midfield. And Gema from Rajasthan United and the player can improve for sure. Are the army players allowed in the professional leagues? Yes, uh, there, are, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are possibilities of services players playing in ISL and I-League. Uh, Brito played for uh, North East United, he's an Indian Navy player. So, possibilities have, structures follow karne padte hai. So, uh, let's see. Asi's franchise fee will not tell there after 24-25. Most of the club's burden is gone. Get some TV rights fee. Should be on lead legal position. Parachute payment should be given to relegated team. Uh, I am not sure parachute payment can come to the Indian football. We are not generating that amount of money. The issue will be without franchise fee, uh, how ISL will be able to organize the league. So, that because if they reduce the franchise, say there is no franchise fee. So, they, they are generating XYZ amount from the uh, center pool revenue, sponsorship, broadcast, digital rights and everything. The major money will be given to ISL first to organize the league, you know, uh, uh, still ISL do lots of stuff to organize the league. Then the remaining money will be given to the ISL team. So that will they save enough, that will be a big question. So I think go, and that's an ideal deal. To maybe reduce a franchise fee, maybe to 5 crores or something, or maybe reduce it further down, maybe make it as per actual, or maybe another thing which can be done. Uh, because, uh, see, as a league, major, major expense is not 
मार्केटिंग इट्स ऑल्सो द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द ब्रॉडकास्टिंग एनी वेर इन दी वर्ल्ड प्रीमियर लीग प्रोड्यूस द प्रीमियर लीग आई पी एल प्रोड्यूस बाय बी सी सी आई और आई पी एल यू नो यू एफ ए चैंपियंस लीग प्रोड्यूस बाय यू एफ आ फीफा वर्ल्ड कप प्रोड्यूस बाय फीफा इट्स नॉट प्रोड्यूस बाय स्काई स्पोर्ट्स और स्टार स्पोर्ट्स इन इंडिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर फॉर आई पी एल सो आई एस एल नीड टू बी प्रोड्यूस बाय आई एस एल इन हाई क्वालिटी दैट्स रिक्वायर्स मनी you know and how they can get that money that's a big question if they don't get a franchise fee will they generate enough money from the uh, sponsorship broadcasting money to get uh, organize the league do the production and then also give uh, uh, prize money also give payments to each and every team also give parachute payment to wo sab mathematics dekhni padegi of course i am not the person to do it accountant the league structure they have to see i think that's a possibility to remove the franchise fee but will they able to do the same kind of marketing same kind of production they have been doing till now that's a big question can you explain ashutosh mehta incident can he sign for the club ashutosh mehta cannot play football in india for next 2 years and unless he appeals and he is definitely going to appeal uh, so, so there, there there is there is couple of uh, you know uh, going through right now that he has taken something from on the advice of his teammate which is foolish by the way uh, the professional athletes in india are, are aware what kind of nadas rules are there in terms of doping you know it's foolish to without consult your doctor you have been taking anything on the advice of any anybody even your parents you should not be able to take it your professional athletes and doping rules are very very clear throughout the world not just in india you know uh, it's it's everywhere in the world and it's sad that it happened with uh, ashutosh mehta but uh and nada is very strict you know but only thing that can they make the you know uh, the ban from 2 years to the shorter time so you can come back to the football very soon uh there should be participant fee instead of franchise fee it will be beneficial and that i'm saying you know it's a mathematics need to be done uh, kumar reddy and i know uh, we have to move remove the franchise fee ultimately that will happen when the league will generate enough amount of revenue uh, which can take care take care of the, uh, the cost of production marketing operations Uh, prize money parachute payments payments to each and every teams that will happen eventually with time uh, but let's see you know and we have to wait and see what kind of mathematics to do with it to dekhte hain kya hota kya nahi hota hai bfc qualify for afc cup next season i heard in some duran interview uh, they are not duran cup has been not given any slot as of now for afc can now now let's come to the let's come to the arindam i will i will rate each and every isl team maybe next week uh, slot इन साइड इंडियन फुटबॉल वो करेंगे अभी थोड़ा नेशनल की बात कर लेते हैं कैन वी सी कैन वी सी एज आई लीग क्लब प्रमोटेड वन इन आई एस एल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वाई कॉपर एंटी और न्यू फ्रेंचाइजी फॉर्म गुजरात में भी एंड द चांस आई थिंक आइडियली देवली वन न्यू टीम इन आई एस एल नेक्स्ट सीजन विल आई लीग टीम विल दे वॉन्ट अनदर और टीम मेक आई थिंक आई थिंक बिकॉज दे डोंट वॉन्ट एवरी वीक टू कीप अ वन टीम अ रेस्ट that's not suitable for every team you know uh, they will want a even team so if one team is coming from i league that will make 12 teams uh, maybe maybe in next year maybe can they bring a two new franchises you know and those franchises can be sold for a bigger amount than the 2014 amount just like ipl and that money can be put in isl for the production for the you know just like bcci has put in in ipl can they bring a franchise from ahmedabad or maybe for another 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 city you know ahmedabad looks like a suitable ground because of the stadium because of the infrastructure because of investment in the sports in gujarat which can be another city in india maybe delhi if some of anybody interested to <laughs> get delhi on board i think i think two these are the two mega cities where franchises will help you know and uh, that will help uh, you know give them a five year protection in the relegation again because of the new franchise are getting into system so let's see uh, what about fifa fifa meeting with mahendra modi prime minister have been, have been requested next see to happen and happen that will take will take care of that we will we'll inform you once once it announced when will the indian team announce the new jersey this new jersey is blue i am a fan of uh, the jerseys behind me i i i'll i'm still fan of what nike is nike has done for indian in terms of the design element Uh, some of the jerseys which Nike done are fantastic, but uh, the talk of marketing and the sales after sales step in is very bad. So I think I will give six five six a benefit of doubt. I think hopefully new jersey will be better. I think they they are trying to again again do well in Indian football. I hopefully they bring the new jerseys. Uh, now let's talk about the Indian squad. Uh, you know some of the some of the take key takeaways from the Indian squads which was announced uh, um, for the two friendlies. I think uh, Dhiraj Singh looks like a third choice goalkeeper now. Uh, with uh, of course Lakshman Katmani was injured, so Gurpreet Singh and Dua Minder Singh are the two goalkeeper. Mohammad Nawaz is not playing much, so that's another question. Sandeep Jingan, 
looks like and alongside Sana and Anwar Ali looks like they finally are three uh, top centre backs. Looks like uh, Narendra Gehlot has come in now as a fourth centre back. So finally Stimach also improving his selections in terms of centre backs. Centre backs always have been less big big uh, uh, selection call is here dropping off uh, Subhashish Bose if I am right and Pritam Kotal. So we now have um, Norim Roshan who is definitely is going to play right back. Akash Mishra who is going to be left back. Haman Jot Singh Kabra is there to play on right back or maybe left back or a centre back when required. So look like a balanced defensive unit if you ask me. I still feel when Ashish Rai is fit, will he be preferred over uh, Hamjo Singh Kabra? That that's going to be seen. And I think good balancing. And there is there should be no question mark on that centre back department. Maybe maybe Huni Palm from uh, Kerala Blaster over Nender Gallo. But Nender Gallo has done well on uh, Igor Simach in past, so I think he's he knows him very well. That's why he's been selected in midfield. Uh, of course, there's some availability questions of Apuya, Suresh, you know, so Liston, Ashik. Two good wingers. Vikram Pratap Singh can be play up front anywhere. Udanta Singh keeps his place. Anu Thapa, number eight. Brandon, Yasir, Sahel, three attacking midfielder. Jixen, that's a major thing. There is no Glenn Martins, there is no Suresh, there is no Apuya. So there is a major, major question mark on a number six. Jixen Singh will be definitely will be playing as a number six now. You know, uh, then of course Rahul KP and Changte, good selection. Hopefully, Changte will play on the right wing uh, alongside Mohamed Yasir when, when required. I would love to see and uh, somebody like you know Udanta and uh, Rahul Rahul KP can play up front anywhere. And trust from Igor Stimach on Rahul KP who is not fully fit in last one year. And he played for, he, he, he done well whenever given chance by Stimach, under 23 level, senior level. And good to see he kept his place and this looks like the team which match will take to the AFC Cup. Couple of players here and there. I think you know somebody like Apuya will come into this team for sure. So who will go out? That is definitely going to see. And the another sub big call is dropping off Manveer Singh. And I think which is uh, which is deserving uh, in terms of dropping because he was not doing well. Uh, even getting lots of opportunity at ATK Mohan Bagan. Sunil Chetri and Ishan Pandita gets keeps their hold of place. Uh, and I think uh, it's it's the, the way I have list listing class is not a midfielder anymore. I think it should be in forward department. Rahul KP and uh, alongside I, th I still feel somebody like you know Vikram Pratap Singh. They are also forward. So I think a good balance squad. I will say a bit, little bit of injuries. I will say I think some players can always say that should be there, should are not there. Uh, but I still feel we, we Anut Thapa and Jixon will have very important role in that midfield. Uh, who will likely to play as a number six. Let's see what 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 Simash done. Will he play somebody like you know uh, Thapa, Brandon, Sahel, which I'm very keen to see together all three together. Or we'll see somebody like you know Thapa, Jixen, then Brandon, Yasir, and uh, Sahel sharing those minutes. So I think I think I think it's, it's going to be interesting setup. I am not sure he play 4-4-2. I think it's going to 4-2-3-1. Maybe Sunil Chetri up front or, or alone on top. You know uh, put uh, Changte on right. Put Liston on left, you know, you know, or maybe Liston up front uh, can be an interesting bit. Uh, Brendan slash Sahel on the number two, number ten role, you know, and uh, you can put Brendan in number eight also uh, alongside Jixon. But I think Brendan is, uh, I will, I will like to see one of them given freedom. And looks like Jixon and Thapa will play together. It might be Brendan or Jixon, uh, Brendan or Thapa, but uh, I think you need midfield to be very solid. Don't want to take a risk a lot because considering you have two attacking fullback in Norim Roshan and Akash Mishra, so you will need two number six or number six or two number eight together playing. You know, uh, you can't put Brendan or Sahel in that midfield two alongside Thapa. That will be too risky in terms of uh, transition, especially when you there's a transition from the other team, and then that might make our backline expose. Uh, because you know, uh, even uh, the, the, the pace of Sandesh and Sana, I'm bit, 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 not that much. All three, even Anwar Ali and Ender Gallo, they're not very, very quick, quick defender. So I think transition-wise, when you have two attacking fullback, I think he will, he should play Jixon and Thapa together, and then rotate Sahel, Brandon, Yasir accordingly up for an attacking position. That will be my kind of a, uh, uh, you know, kind of a. A setup to play and of course he can choose his uh, position uh, you know uh, accordingly and I think uh, Suresh, Suresh, Apuya big miss. They, these two are the engine of this, this Indian team. 
uh, Sana and uh, Anwar who should start I think I think I will go with Sana and Sandesh as of now uh, because considering Sandesh has uh, Sana has more football under under him in last one season done very well for Hyderabad FC deserve to start uh, Sandesh being the senior pro and if you listen to the Igor team match podcast on this channel he feels Sandesh is a big leader of his team so he is definitely going to start I still feel that you know we'll give a Sandesh, uh, Sana some one friendly or Anwar uh, one friendly I think it's a friendly games so I'll have to give a more player chances and I think I think it's a good pool of centre backs finally centre back was one department where India was struggling now I can I can breathe and feel that you know we getting that centre back together. It's a good point in football that we have finally getting some kind of depth in the centre back. Now only one department we are struggling is the forwards. Can we get some more forwards? Can we get more of you know? Hopefully, as a next Sunil Chetri, we will not never going to get Sunil Chetri, but more of Indian centre forwards in next next couple of years before AFC, maybe before AFC Asian Cup. You know, or maybe more listen, listen, class or in a centre forward role, but he is physically not that strong enough to play that up alone in that up front. You know, uh, Dwarka Cricket Stadium will be built soon. Delhi Capital DC will be moving there, so there is a possibility of mega football stadium in place of Ambedkar and Anandjitli Stadium. Who, who will put the money? That's the major issue. If there is somebody, I think there will be chances for sure. Uh, it will be conflicting when we will give a 5 years cap for new franchisee. All teams will object the immunity go against that team when relegation start. It will be a big conflict. Um, I know but then see Kumar if uh, the franchise bidding document or franchisee fee for a new franchisee say 150 crores. IPL map dekho go to franchisee fee bad gai new teams ki. There's a 250 crores these teams need to pay for to get a franchise in ISL. Either then you remove that fee completely. You just select somebody based on merit based on their you know financial strength and everything don't take any franchise fee from them then you can't give them uh, you know immunity but just like IPL that will also show the success of ISL if some new brand say Adani comes and they want a team in ISL and if they can pay 250 crores for example I'm just I'm just putting it number that 250 crores will be used to reduce the burden on other franchisees you know, if even those couple of those franchises have been given immunity of five years, I think it should not be a major issue. I personally feel Indian football still need money. Indian football still need a uh, big businessmen to come forward. We need to still, still spread to football across the country. So it should be balanced. It should not be 10 year of immunity. Five years, I think it should be good enough. And there should not be any question mark by other franchises. They were given 10 years immunity from, from the relegation. You know, I think that should be, that's our personal. Can Sahel play a CDM? I don't think Sahel should be used as CDM. Sahel, see, you have to still uh, see that what kind of quality Sahel have. Sahel have a quality uh, to be very good in the, uh, in the, in the closing area and midfield to be is a very quick feat but Sahel will be very very he's 100% effective in the final third but Sahel can be effective sometime to get ball out from the crowded space because of the close control but he is not CDM he doesn't think like a CDM he thinks like a more of a goal scorer or a creative player how can he create goals how can he get out of the crowded space and get to send his team in a counter attack so he should be used there he's not a CDM you have to see the quality of a player before judging on that which position they can um, um, when they can be analysis on each team will try Utpal bhai thoda sa schedule busy chal raha hai I'm very honest and I'm also disappointed as I said uh, we are we are working on um, so we just added another space in the office we have made another studio uh, for FIFA World Cup and everything, we are planning lots of stuff. So, Koshish hai ki kuch diya jaya ap logo ko time se pehle because we are planning some podcasts and everything. And this is a growth of as a business for us that we want to do it. And uh, considering I'm leading the complete set of the business, I just don't do these podcasts. I have uh, videos and everything. I have, I have also business side to look after. So, usme thoda main khud occupied hu. But I'm trying to do something. So, hopefully, we'll get something for you guys very soon. Why can't they all put together some money to buy production equipment for for leak or investment money for the production? Uh, bhai, aisa nahi hai ki aap char camera khullo aap production kar sako. Ab aap dekho Thursday se Sunday matches chal rahe all across India. So you can't move one crew all across India. You need to have multiple crew. Sif equipment ki baat nahi hai na. Aap behind the scene gaye nahi ho. Cameraman, assistant cameraman, production mein team chahiye aapko. Phir director chahiye, phir commentary feed chahiye, phir graphics ka banda chahiye. So there are lots of stuff. Production karna atna saan nahi hai. Broadcast is very costly affair of the side. Itna saan nahi hai. That's the reason worldwide production uh, leagues or tournament owners hi karte hai. 
यू नो इट्स यू जस्ट कांट की एफ सी गोवा सेज मैं चार कैमरा बाय कर लेता हूँ बेंगलुरु सेज आई विल बाय फोर कैमराज एट माई स्टेडियम एंड लेट्स डू दी ब्रॉडकास्ट ऐसा नहीं होता है दीज कैमराज आर नॉट ईजी टू बाय एंड मेंटेन बाई द वे सो दैट्स हाउ दैट्स अ वर्ल्ड वाइड प्रोडक्शन एज हैपन इन दैट वे यू नो लालीगा लालीगा का प्रोडक्शन कर रहा है सो इट्स नॉट दैट ईजी प्रोडक्शन इज वेरी कॉस्टली अफेयर ऐसा नहीं है कि एक ओबी वैन लगती है देर आर इक्विप लॉट्स ऑफ ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट नीडेड टू ड्रो दी दिस काइंड ऑफ टेलीकास्ट यू सी फॉर दी आई एस एल इतना आसान नहीं है जितना हमें लगता है हम टी वी पर सिर्फ एक आउटपुट स्क्रीन देख रहे हैं बिहाइंड द सीन आपको मे बी मे बी विल डू सम काइंड ऑफ बिहाइंड द सीन वीडियो वेरी सुन टू शो यू हाउ दीज हाउ दीज यू नो दिस प्रोडक्शन आर डन विक्रम ओवर जेरी इज नॉट गुड आई थिंक आई थिंक आई एम अ बिग फैन ऑफ जेरी बट विक्रम इज काइंड ऑफ कंपीटिंग इन फ्रंट थ्री स्पेस you know uh, right wing left wing center forward jerry will compete in midfield or number 10 spots so i think you can't compare vikram with jerry both different type of player personally if you ask me i am not happy with mumbai city with an apuya the kind of excuse they come up just before national team camp there is question mark over mumbai city uh, some some uh, question mark over mumbai city attitude toward national team by uh, by national team management for a while now uh, internally and this did not come out but uh, there is but that that's club that power in that you know so you can't afford but i think apuya was supposed they could have they can't say no to apuya to play in these international window but you know logistically not possible to send apuya now because of the visa process and everything uh, why pcc can't build dual use stadium for football and cricket similar to melbourne also pcc does not own many stadium in india by the way so itna again stadium building in india thoda costly hai the kochi stadium was the dual cricket and football goa fatorda stadium was cricket and football now completely made uh, uh, football stadium Then young forward are good like Shiva, Leon, Faisal Khan, but they're still not playing centre forwards. I personally see playing on wings. It's different kind of mindset, different kind of approach. Playing centre forward is different kind of approach. I understand ISL clubs will not give them a uh, you know centre forward. Shiva Shakti, fantastic talent, uh, but still need to bulk bulk up. You know, uh, until unless you're playing in front two setup, then you don't need to bulk up. When you're playing all alone up front, important quality is ball control. can you hold the ball uh, you know behind the goal when you're facing your own goal and somebody hit and can you hold that ball you need a body strength you need a technical ability to hold that to wo cheeze aise nahi aati raton raat that's come naturally into it you know uh, so, so because if you want to go 4 to 3 1 that one playing all alone is not easy job it's like graveyard shift when you play like team like qatar or play like uae big teams it will be easy to play when you when you have nepal bangladesh sri lanka then you can get your midfielders your wingers in play but you playing big teams that center forward role is very important two teams from i league will you promote next two season ashish yes so next season uh, so this season one team then next season one team so two teams will be there so uh, next two season for sure uh, uh, faidan aur kian atk mein center forward khel khelati hai khelati but this is a limited media uh, and i i, I like faridan who scored and kian both but they limited but ATK Mohan Bagan is also playing Liston Manveer Ashik they all playing so that's a good sign that they're depending on Indian, Indian forwards still need more options hopefully these players get a regular game time this season we can get a good option before if they can put a 15 500 crores for 10 years why they can put money otherwise they can get some some agreement with broadcast on production when there is a when there when there is a will there is a all excuse nahi hai bhai broadcasters production nahi karte india mein uh, it's not a it's not a it's a fact as i said they don't own as the kind of equipments costly equipments that other agencies who does it so see that's my point 1500 if they put in 1500 crores for 10 years they have to still put a league has to do somehow so see, it's all about sustainability so they just that's something they just can't cross the franchise if you all of a sudden so they have to wait and see that if they've sustained sustain themselves just like premier league then it is easier to do uh, what are thoughts on disbanding of india i am i have given my thoughts i'm 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 happy that finally clubs should be developing the players AFF job job is to govern Indian football, to run Indian football, not to make players. That's a person. That's a way to go forward. Uh, Ashish, can you get Raju Gosai on your podcast? Ah, uh, Raju Gosai is a senior in uh, journalist from Dehradun. I know him, and he. वो आज से नहीं. By the way, revelation कर रहे हैं. वो सालों से कर रहे हैं. Hopefully, now with new regime, it will change. And I think, I think, I think I can get him uh, Dehradun based. Yeah, कर सकता हूँ shoot कभी ना कभी. Please, Jamshedpur FC have their own stadium or not? Jamshedpur. So, It's Tata Stadium, GRD Tata Stadium in Jamshedpur. So it's it's owned by the. So it's like Tata is father, Jamshedpur FC is one child, and father also own the stadium. So indirectly, directly they own that. What will happen if promoted club don't have ISL standards infrastructure? Ah, uh, so here's a question question for you. ISL club, many ISL club doesn't have their own infrastructure. By the way, 
so they are also dependent on government or you know third parties infrastructure none of the stadiums are isl clubs own infrastructure so say any isl clubs it can be created uh, so who are the favorites to qualify uh, for isl mohammedan sporting gokulam gokulam kerala uh, i think these two are, are definitely favorite both of them have kind of infrastructure which can be get ready for isl mohammedan sporting can continue playing in salt lake stadium just like atk monongan east bengal gokulam kerala can be made of another stadium they can play in greenfield stadium the, 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 there is arrangement they can done uh, yeah if rajasthan united somehow get qualify then there is a problem then they might need to get a, a jaipur cricket stadium ready for uh, isl then there is a problem uh, is round glass punjab qualify then there is a problem where they will play so i think it depend on which isl team uh, goes which isl team goes but that's also problem thing is isl club doesn't own any infrastructure as of now some of them do like bengaluru fc have their own training setup but the stadium doesn't own by bengaluru fc as of now so we dekhte hain sudeva academy good 3 4 boys from sudeva in under 17 so the academy has done well in the academy level uh, but i think the questions now that can they replicate same in i league level also 16 to 20 team possible isl i think 10 years time i will be happy that if isl have a 20 teams i just don't want isl to expand just like that just make it 16 team i think that's not how it happened you need to increase the pool of talent you know and then gradually increase the number of teams also will there be opening ceremony this season don't think so rahul is a good add on to indian squad because he is a good in 50 50 balls also is good in taking shots and also he is a speedy player and rahul is hustle uh, he he hustle for ball so he, i like that quality for in rahul uh, which is not there in another wing some of wingers they get dis- dis- dispossessed very easily rahul have that he name even is not a big such a player is physically not at all and not very strong but he try to hustle for those ball 50 50 he wants to go for those ball that's a very important quality uh, uh, you know uh, from 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 kp rahul uh, hello sir how are you i am in love with your i don't know arav bhai aise comments nahi dalte hain yahan pe east bengal home stadium their home stadium is just a training ground it's not a home stadium uh, uh any more questions isl is not treating its funds properly mm, i think we have to ask uh, what they can do better maybe you can suggest uh, bro heard some news that isl clubs are having a small profit some of the isl club not profit but they have been generated money good money in recent time i have given i have when i told you last time mumbai city fc was given when they won the isl 8 crores of prize money so it was a good money and then good sponsorship everything is done properly hopefully ticket sales season ticket sales jersey sales this season will go a rocket help isl team to recover some kind of money in last couple of season they were not hosting so uh, gate revenue became zero i think it's good uh, club like kerala blaster club like bengaluru fc has come up with the season tickets goa will come up with the season tickets it's a good good way to in, uh, include the culture you know into the into, into the football fans hopefully other teams still follow that get a season ticket jamshedpur fc have very cheap tickets it's not a cheap tickets it's a good because jamshedpur is a uh, is a uh, it's, a, it's a, it's a factory class uh, you know it, there are lots of factories so it's not uh, the average gross income is very high compared to bombay or delhi you know so i think it's a very good price and jamshedpur fc will have a very good crowd i i personally know that odisha will hopefully will have a good crowd so i think it's it's over to isl team how much money they want to charge from their fans you know how much money they need from the great gate receipt to contribute in the annual revenue jamshedpur fc feels that they want to you know not charge the fans much it's a good call from the jamshedpur fc kerala blasters if they feel that you know they or bangalore they feels that you know being from metro city if we can you know our our uh, fans should not have an issue paying that xyz amount you know uh, so i think i think i think you know uh, there should not be any question mark every clubs understand their own fans i am sure they have done the internal surveys for the ticket price and everything and then put those ticket price so we should not compare that which team is putting how much price i think it's let's keep it to the football clubs what kind of uh, ticket price they want to keep it what about viewership number of last season uh, have to go to the actual viewership number not, not it was not very big but i think a decent average it was good i have not seen the save craze for football in salt lake city recent time especially after the covid uh, you can see half stadium empty is there a reason Uh, I think एक एक तो बहुत मेजर है कोविड सॉल्ट लेक स्टेडियम में टिकट अवेलेबिलिटी मुझे समझ में नहीं आता कैसे अवेलेबल करते हैं दे डोंट फील स्टेडियम प्रॉपरली यू नो इन सब कुछ स्टैंड खोलेंगे कुछ नहीं खोलेंगे फ्रेंच दे ए टी के और ए टी के मोहन मंगान एंड ईस्ट बंगाल नीट टू कम क्लियर आप भले एक तरफ का स्टैंड खोलो बट उसको फुल करो यू नो दे स्प्रेड इट अक्रॉस इट्स अ बिग स्टेडियम इट्स अ बिग स्टेडियम सो आप वहाँ तीस चालीस हजार लोग ऑलवेज कम लगेंगे होप फुली एंड ऑफकोर्स ए टी के देर इज इशू बिटवीन मोहन मंगान फैंस एंड ए टी के name and everything if they can if somehow solve the issues with the fans i am sure mohan magan can have a average attendance of 35 to 40 even 50000 if if mohan magan and mohan magan 
uh, go to I League days, they used a very good away crowd. So hopefully this season they will away crowd again. So Mohan Bagan have ability to fill their away stand just like Kerala Blasters. So let's see how they get it. I think hopefully Salt Lake Stadium ka wo, you know, uh, uh, Salt Lake Stadium ka wo, you know, uh, ticketing ka issue, kitna we will stand karte hai, wo salt hona chahiye. How can we join Kerala? I am from UP. Bhai, well played. You uh, contact kar sakte ho social media pe. If you have some kind of profile, you can do football, mein, sports, you can do jobs at the rate of the game. Uh, Imphal fans were impressive in Duran. Uh, North East will, you know, Manipur has been hotbed for Indian football. I guess I'm saying, let's, let's bring Super Cup uh, and Duran Cup to these kind of locations. Let's not, of course, can have final or semi final in Kolkata, Delhi, especially ideal in Delhi. I really want top football in Delhi to come back. Uh, but I think Sikkim, Manipal, uh, Manipur, these kind of slots where you know top football have been not there let's brought and it can have a good ground testing for new isl teams to come i really really want another isl team from northeast hopefully hopefully somebody will have promoted also but maybe a new isl team from these northeast will open lots of avenues for the uh, northeast players not because i still feel uh, northeast still need to capture the northeast uh, uh, players in terms of market size also there are lots of players in northeast is northeast is also still not able to track and do well uh, assist please cover Mizoram football, uh, higher quality goals have been scored. I think hopefully we'll start something on that. Uh, now, yeah, yeah, thank you, uh, Suvil, to VFS uh, supposed to end it. Uh, I guess T-Match has got his extension of one year and we forgot, it's the title of the video, forget it. Thank you very much. Uh, SAF Women's Championship done, Under 17 done, ISL calendar done, AFF done, squad friendly done, Duran Cup done, roadmap done. This is the only topic which is remaining. Uh, I think, I think, deserving. Because if, as I said, throughout these last two years, he should be judged based on if he can get Indian team to the Asian Cup or not. Forget about the qualification method. He has taken the Indian team to the Asian Cup Good one year extension. Ideally, I would have liked more clarity that, you know, because see, just after Asian Cup next year, in the summer, this is World Cup qualifiers, later part of the year, you know, in, in March of 2024 or in the November of, we'll see, have to see the calendar. So, getting into quarterfinal, I still feel if we can take it to Indian team to the knockout round should be a good achievement and should be if he takes that if take the Indian team to the knockout round I think there should be discussion to extend his contract you know even if you like him or not the, and I'm happy there is a performance based extension on his contract that shows that you know Indian football is thinking towards forward now you know uh, coach will coach will know uh, coach will know that you know uh, coach will know that uh, uh, coach will know that you know uh, that what he need to do and everything so hopefully that will sort out and then good good that there's a clarity over his future which was not there from the uh, podcast he match was not sure what he's going to do and I also good that they've arranged they somehow kept these two friendlies ready and arranged and hopefully the telecast and broadcast and also arranged so good thing for Indian football uh, hopefully uh, next game Singapore Vietnam we win these two games improve our FIFA ranking important Important that next one year we improve our FIFA ranking and goes to the next next round. Uh, also cover Subroto Cup. Uh, Subroto Cup we have been covering at the not the bigger level but covering it. We start maybe increasing the level very soon. Had that a party was interrupted and direct, direct corporate entry to I League, but I have decided to not open bid. Continue with 11 clubs. Why so? Is the bad for football growth? Which clubs it is? I have not heard any so Leon official have to check but I think I think they want to keep it see new new regime has come they want to take things slowly and do the right way they don't want to just bring another corporate into it can we defeat Vietnam uh, I will give 60% to Vietnam we still have 40% game football has been always a story of underdog and sadly India will go against Vietnam as underdog so let's see which I said even the highest revenue have to go through numbers, but I think uh, Kerala has done well in terms of revenue. Bangalore FC has done well. Goa has done well. ATK Bonga has done well in terms of revenue. So let's see and wait. You know, actual numbers. Uh, do you know uh, why Tajik Winger, Delhi Kudal is unlikely to continue Gokulam Kerala? There was a rumor that a player is misinformed that he was joining Kerala Blasters. I have nothing to why I not These interesting rumors are I have to see. Because recently I was not updated with many stuff. So let's see. Uh, hi sir, why don't we move out from SAF? I have, uh, Ganjulan, I have explained in this video before. Thoda pehle jao ba it's a political reason. You can just can't move from the SAF. You can go and listen back again. Thank you for joining in. Yaar. Uh, interesting. We just did the show on the short notice. 100 of you watching. Uh, hit that like button. Social media links on the description tabs. Uh, lots of things, new things coming on this channel. Not just Indian football. We're trying to cover other sports. Pro Kabaddi League, everything. Just coming up. We're tuning up. 
there will be stuff happening for Indian football. We'll keep on supporting on other, uh, other channels also. So, description mein links hai, social media. Ke, do follow. Follow me on Twitter, 7 Ingi Ashish. If you want to interact, if you want to ask something personally, you can you know, ask me on Twitter. I generally respond if there is any interesting questions regarding Indian football and everything. We'll talk about it. Uh, next week, we'll meet again. Let's, let's hope we can get 200 likes. Um, plus people are watching. Uh, and I think, I think it's next live will be there. Uh, there's a fan forum I'm planning. Uh, hopefully, before an ISL, we'll do a fan forum. I am hoping, I am hoping if we get a new story ready, if Delhi may have 5 fans in Delhi, if you can get multiple major teams in Delhi, Delhi may, if you are watching, I would like to bring everyone in the studio, with their team's jersey, ke saath, maybe a Delhi show will do, uh, you know, or something, so I will plan that, you know, that's I am working over this, if you are watching Delhi, se dekh raha hai, आप ईस्ट बंगाल को सपोर्ट करते हैं वेस्ट मोहन बंगाल को सपोर्ट करते हैं लेट मी नो आई थिंक यू लाइक टू डू द फैन फोरम मे बी दैट वे वी डू इट एंड देन वी स्टार्ट टेकिंग ओवर द जूम यू नो इट्स इंडियन फुटबॉल फैन फोरम आई रियली वांट टू डू दैट होपफुली समबडी नॉट कॉपी दिस आईडिया फ्रॉम हियर बट यू नो दैट्स व्हाट वी वांट टू डू इट मे बी फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट बिफोर आईएसएल हम करेंगे एक फैन फोरम मे बी इट विल बी ऑन स्टूडियो फिजिकल यू नो फिजिकल शो एंड देन विल टेक इट ओवर द जूम बट थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग इन थैंक यू फॉर ऑल द लव एंड सपोर्ट डू हिट डिस्क्रिप्शन में सारे लिंक्स हैं आप जाके सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन ट्विटर सेवन नेगी आशीष ओनली सोशल मीडिया आई एम वेरी एक्टिव ऑन पीपल फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक भाई मैं यूज ही नहीं करता हूँ ट्विटर इज द प्लेटफॉर्म विच आई एम यूजिंग मोर एंड मोर सो आप वहाँ मुझे फॉलो कर सकते हैं एंड खेला डॉट कॉम पर विजिट करते रहिए हमारे आर्टिकल्स पढ़ते रहिए सारे वीडियोज़ देखते रहिए सपोर्ट करते रहिए इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज नथिंग मच इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स स्पेशली नॉन क्रिकेट स्पोर्ट्स इन टर्म द रेवन्यू इट्स जस्ट योर लव एंड सपोर्ट फॉर अस मोटिवेट अस टू डू मोर थिंग तो वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू stuff for the rising sports in india so we are not focused towards one particular sport like others so aap logo support aata rahega uh, in terms of like subscribe social media fan following reading our articles going to our website regularly it will be great so guys thank you thank you thank you for joining in i will see you again next week thursday uh, 7 uh, 6 pm and hopefully uh, inside indian uh, indian football forum hopefully a live analysis show for the india friendly against on tuesday show i'm hoping saturday and sunday i'm just traveling again here and there but tuesday match there will be pre match and pre post match live streaming for sure so thank you for joining in i will see you again very soon on this channel keep subscribing we are towards 1 million 